You remind me of something that President Obama said in his second inaugural address. We are true to our creed when a little girl born into the bleakest poverty knows that she has the same chance to succeed as anybody else because she is an American, she is free, and she is equal, not just in the eyes of God, but also in our own. That's eloquent, but hardly true. That's right. And it's, it's painful for some of us to hear that because it is so obviously untrue. It is so obviously contradicted by the realities, not just of those who work at the minimum wage, but all of those who work at or even at 50 percent above what we call the poverty level. Because when you look at what families like that can actually afford, they have to deny huge parts of the American dream to their children and to themselves as a necessary consequence of where they are put. And I, I don't need to be an economist to put it as starkly as I know how. We can read every day that in the major cities of the United States, apartments are changing hands for 10, 20, 30, 40 million dollars. People have enormous yachts that they cruise. That we all see it. We all know it. We even celebrate it as a nation. How does that square with millions of people in a position where they can't provide even the most basic services and opportunities? We don't have equality of opportunity because there is no shortcut. If you want equality of opportunity, you're going to have to create equality of income and wealth much closer to a, a genuine equality than anything. We're, we're going in the other direction. And I, so I agree with you. It's stark if our president talks about something so divergent from the reality.